I combined the chemicals again um, so that we can do an additional test to find out what kind of gas was produced during this chemical reaction uh, that caused the bag to swell. Um, if I were to light a match and expose the flame to the gas, different things would happen depending on what type of gas it is. If it's oxygen, the flame will burn brighter. If it's hydrogen, there will be a popping sound. Um, and if it's carbon dioxide, the flame will go out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this test is called the flame test. Um, and as I said, it will help us figure out the identity of the gas um, produced. Okay, even when it was just close to the bag, um, it went out. All right, so that tells us that the gas produced is carbon dioxide. Some of you might not be convinced, I realize that. Um, you may think that the flame went out just due to the movement um, of being placed in the bag or near the bag. Um, I'll show you what happens when I place, place the flame in a new empty bag. All right, you can see that the flame does not go out. So um, I hope that convinces you um, that the gas being produced was in fact carbon dioxide. Um, pause this video and add to your list of observations the identity of the gas produced during this chemical reaction. You can rewind if you need to. I'll give you some time to, your, to add to your observation list now.